you filling your tweezers? What's a tweezin? I'll tell you in a second. I'm Ron Ramsden, I'm a DYB coach, also painting contractor. I'm located here in Massachusetts. Behind me about a half mile, mile away is New Hampshire. I'm right on the coast here on the ocean. I just got back from a run, that's why the neon shirt. Anyways, I was thinking I was, I was out there as I was talking to a couple painting contractors the last couple days. One of them was actually running out of work. His season was coming to an end and he hadn't planned for the interior season as the weather cools down. But then again, if you're watching this at another time of the year, the weather might be warming up. Who knows? It's the in-between of the seasons. For me, I'm gonna call it a tweezin. And up here in New England, we have a bu very busy summer. Uh, fall is very busy. Then we have a little space during the winter, and then it gets winter season, and then of course the spring and we, we take off again. But there's those times between the seasons that sometimes we're quiet. Uh, if you're not doing your planning, you're not doing your marketing, and, and touching base with the customers, you might have some downtime. So as I went from a run, I'm, I'm gonna show you behind me, there's a house right here. I'm on one of the access points to the beach. Uh, that's not my house, by the way, I pass it every day. But behind me, I've been doing some Googling to find out what rents are during the summer. And on the water, you can't touch them. They're $3,500 a week. Uh, if you're one street back, you're getting from about $1,500 for a, uh, a two bedroom uh, place just for the week. And of course, there's, guarantee, there's no guarantees the weather's gotta be nice. But if these homes here are being built, most of the houses as they buy them, they buy them, they tear them down, and then they build homes like this. If we walk down the beach, you're gonna see hundreds of these. Uh, actually, we worked on a house down the street and their taxes alone were $32,000 a year. So that'll go to show you uh, the size of these, these homes. But anyways, some of these are for rent by the week, $3,500, $4,200 a, a, a week, amazing. And you know if someone has this kind of house, they're not doing the work themselves. Everything is hired out or the majority of it's hired out. Some of the smaller homes I'm gonna show you behind me on the other side, you know, you might have some of these that some of, that's a two family right there. So there's two condos in that one. Obviously a bigger one back there. As you're gonna see, these people don't do their own work. And as their summer renters leave, they might have, some of them might have winter renters and other ones doing some renovations. Some are financially set so they don't touch it uh, or have anybody in these during the winter, but they do have work being done. And as if you walk down the streets or go for a run down these streets, you're gonna see all kinds of renovations. And this is happening in your area also. So what you wanna do is you wanna market, and I'm not saying a costly marketing plan to the owners of this. Maybe Facebook sponsored ads, uh, maybe touching base with the realtors in town who are renting out these and, and let them know that you know, you're insured, your quality work, maybe touch base, maybe stop into the office with coffees and, coffees and donuts. Maybe ask them if you could have a half hour of their time. Bring them a gift, a thank you gift for taking time with you. Uh, let them know your portfolio. Maybe email them a video. I'm a, I'm, as you see, I'm a big, a big, big <laughs> opponent of video marketing, of sending them videos. People love to watch videos. So sending them something that's eye-catching. You know, maybe walk by one of their signs, stand in front of their signs and tell them how you could help them uh, with your fast turnaround. Uh, maybe it's a financing plan you have. Maybe they accept credit cards. Maybe you can do it when no one else will do it. Maybe you have that space that you can give them a little break to get your foot in the door. We don't want to do anything for free, but maybe free upgrades of all the paints of the house. Maybe work with your uh, paint dealer at the same time. So anyways, I just wanted to say, you got to think outside the box. You don't want to do anything that you're not comfortable with doing. If you're not a handyman, you don't want to promise them that you got to do some handyman things. But you know, Look at your three P's we talk about, your process, profit, and your people. You know, if you're really great at, at fine woodwork or restaining or kitchen cabinet painting, maybe that's what you wanna uh, bring this to these, this new clientele you could possibly have. So I'm gonna call this the tweezers. This is the in, be in between the seasons. So anyways, look for that. If you're in a ski area, you know, you might have the summer rentals with the lakes and you have the winter rentals with the skiing and then you have the middle time. That's in between the seasons. We're going to call that marketing to the tweezers. So anyways, I hope this made me, you think of something new. Uh, you know, you got to think, you got to think, you got to think of where you're not touching base right now and maybe where you want to touch base. Do you want to live at the beach? Maybe you're a little ways from the beach, you always want to live at beach and you want to you start, start a marketing 
and you want to start a market and expand over to the beach where you can move your move your company anyways I'm just thinking on the run here I hope this helped you I thought of a hundred different things as I went for a run and this was one of them so anyways enjoy your seasons it is beautiful out here I'm gonna turn around real quick over here I don't know if you can see I'm a little fast a little shaky but there's a uh, the surfers are just starting to finish up. We've had some pretty rough waves. So anyways, I'm Ron Rams. I'm a DYB coach. I'd love to chat with you. Send me a message at ron at dybcoach.com. Find me on Facebook. I'd love to chat. Anyways, fill up your tweezins. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.